Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a quick look at the new Devolu Mesh Wi-Fi 2. And we are back so in my opinion this is just beautiful because it makes this power line with mesh technology and we are talking about the latest from the volo as you guys know those of you that follow the channel for a while you know that i've tested almost all the products from the volo and it's just top notch in terms of quality in terms of software that i will show you in a few moments and if you go to the channel and search for power line adapters you will find a lot of information a lot of tests including my house configuration which is first floor ground floor and basement which is where i'm right now but in more details so i will give you numbers i will show you some numbers really excellent numbers but uh, have in mind that on the channel there is a lot of info by the way one thing that i would like to remember is that for some time i had 1000 megabits per second download and 200 megabits per second upload at this moment i only have half 500 megabits per second download and 100 uploads yes i did change contract i didn't get the same prices as i had so i did opt for these 500 and this is important why because when i do speed tests on these devices if i have 500 that's the maximum that i can go and if you watch older videos you might see um, the wi-fi ac for example which is a older model uh, having probably better results i'm not i don't recall but it's possible so have that in now for those of you that don't know what the power line is besides going to the channel and have more information the technology is just beautiful because if you want to extend your network or replace entirely your network you can do it simply by once you for example unpack like you've seen in the video this package right over here which has three units and if you plug them on any uh, power sockets on your house they will connect in a matter of two minutes to each other so it's easy as this and then the only thing that we need to do is to plug in a cable right to this and right over here to one of them to our router so that we can feed internet to the power line adapter once that is done the ethernet signal our internet signal will go through our, our electric uh, grid and they will talk to each other so i will have one as source which also will transmit wi-fi and then the other two will receive that signal transmit wi-fi and also if we want to connect uh, our g45 ethernet cable to any device that you want like an android tv box or something like that then you can this is the principle and then it's beautiful now these in particular have something which is mesh 2 or generation <laughs> which is great what i did was um i did test out on all well two scenarios one of which is not to replace my network and the other one was to use wps which is wi-fi protected setup we just need to press a button on our router a button right over here on the power line adapter and what it does is that it will take all the information from our router to the power line and all the passwords the name of the network and so on and so forth will be right over here so all your gadgets that were connected to your router will connect immediately to this without any efforts at all one thing that i would suggest is to turn off the wi-fi signal from your original router because it will mess up the signal just forget about it you'll have a lot better signal with this now you can do in other way which is to plug in a cable and disregard the wps and just use as a separate network depends on what we want i did test out the two in terms of speeds i did get the same so it's just a matter of personal taste now what i did was to install one of the ground floor first floor and basement and in terms of speeds on the room adjacent to where the power line is near to the router and which is the living room i was getting above 350 megabits per second on downloads and 100 and something on 
upload so just great speeds right over there and of course if we want to stream videos streaming games like we do sometimes game streaming through our android tv boxes streaming from a computer which is on our network heavy games 1080 60 frames per second and yes we can do that just fine with those speeds i did went upstairs i did place a second unit on a central area on my lobby and uh, then testing out on the different rooms i did get some great speeds i did test out the kids rooms my my room the other um, room that we have which is a small office upstairs and the speeds were just great i do remember that on my room using the apple tv and also the phone i was getting above 350 megabits per second so just awesome there was the kids bedroom that lowered to 200 and something but nothing special and on the office i was getting roughly 300 as well now here on the basement the results were basically the same i was not expecting any less anymore uh, above 350 megabits per second download and uh, 100 on upload so just great the only thing that i did notice is when i uh, went outside which is one of the tests that i usually do that's when it dropped so if you are thinking about uh, sharing the internet with your neighbors then probably you will have to put it a little bit <laughs> near to their house but uh, having that in mind i was able to be uh, near the swimming pool if i want to use my phone and have a normal streaming music or videos and so on and so forth it's more than enough of course i will not take my computer there to upload videos or something like that but with a phone or a tablet we will be just fine so guys in terms of conclusion in terms of tests this is it i want to share with you one more thing and that is the devolu app now this is not the first time that we use it we have used it for quite a few years and what you are seeing right now something right over here is the mobile app on ios but we have for mac os and also for windows so we just need to download from the website and we will have full control one of the things that i usually say and i was very surprised the first time a few years ago when i tested out is because the software it's really complete there are softwares uh, on full-fledged routers that are not as good as this one now i have on the main screen the information of the uh, power line adapters that i've got on the mesh which are the ones included on this kit three units one near the router which is this one right over here the 760 and then the other two one is here on the basement and the other one upstairs on the first floor now besides having this view we can just go inside and see for example i've got eight devices connected via wi-fi and 41 devices connected via rj45 and if you ask okay 41 devices how is that possible if i connect one switch to one of the devices and then connect all my network right over here i will have devices all over the place so um i still haven't got all of them connected but 41 so that's the explanation though i only have one cable there i've got all my net network connected right over here because i did use wps and that was a great advantage now besides having this info on all the um, devices i can go also right over here on the configuration we can use any device uh, and we will go to the configuration page it's great now if i want to open the configuration and by the way it's in portuguese but uh, you will be able to i will change this to english okay english uk it's easier for you okay so it's in english right now but you have a few uh, languages right over here so just great i did test it out and if you want to know if there are other languages there we go now as i was saying really complete i've got all the wi-fi uh, information status and whatnot and we've got wi-fi networks guest networks mesh wi-fi if you want to use as mesh which is the way that i would use and i do use because i can just connect my phone to this network and i'm here on the basement and then if i go to the first floor it will automatically grab the best signal possible as fast as it can of course depending on the uh, phone or on the uh, device that we are using so as you can see a lot of uh, options right over here scheduling options and then we have the power line itself in terms of the network and i've got a new firmware version available to update right over here i will update very very soon um, let me just show you a little bit more right over here in terms of land status information then the system also gave us management 
we can change all the parameters the wi-fi name the passwords and so on and so forth so everything that we will find on a router we will find right over here in a good router not all of them and now i can shut up so in conclusion guys it is the top of the line in terms of the volo if you ask me hey robert is it cheap no the volo has some top of the line products in terms of coverage wi-fi and ethernet and spreading the uh, signal on our home without the need to spread cables all over the place we just need to have electrical socks and uh, by the way uh, they have available for some different contrasts so depending on the area that you live but that is it in my opinion if you are looking for something really good uh, the best in the market in terms of power line and in terms of mesh at this moment really really fast then probably this is one of the best that you can get i will leave some links down below so that you guys can check it out hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual and very appreciated thumbs up right over there my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one